My name is Martin Rancano. I am uh, the founding partner of Photobotech One. We are a landscape architecture firm. Uh, with um, we are about 45 people now. We turn this year. We turn 20 years old. We were founded. Uh, with, I founded the office '96. When I finished school, I actually should have become probably an artist or an architect or whatever. But when I finished school, however, I uh, I was very insecure what to do. And, uh, and I wasn't um, brave enough to do a portfolio to enter an art school. And my best subject was art when I was at school. And my art teacher, uh, she told me, you have to do art, you are so talented, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't know, I, I never could draw very well, so I thought that's nothing to do. And then I, I started to study uh, art history in Frankfurt. I studied for two years, and then there was a, a, a seminar about the history of... Uh, of, uh, of gardens, of landscape architecture. And somehow I got fascinated and then I changed from art history to landscape architecture. So um, I was kind of fascinated, you know, before I encounter, I, I did encounter this, uh, this seminar, I thought landscape or trees or th these things are actually given, they are not planned. I f from the very beginning, you know that architecture is made. But when it comes to landscape architecture, often you think these things are there. No one actually did them. Yeah, God or nature did them. But it's partly true because trees obviously as you grow after you plant them and they have their own uh, independence uh, to a certain extent. But uh, so I got fascinated by the idea that all these things have been um, have been done, and I like the the complexity and let's say the um, the overall quality of it. You know, that is like a, an art that you. Uh, experience with, with all your senses, you know, you have visual experiences, you have uh, olfatoric experiences, you have even, you can also take an apple in your mouth and taste the work that you are that you are doing. So there are not many design uh, fields maybe where you, you would have such a complete experience. So this is, this is but this is how I ended up um, doing landscape architecture. What architecture actually is, from a point of view of, um, of landscape, um, well, one thing that, that always uh, occurred to me and is a big difference into something that, however, is being experimented with is a certain stiffness, you know. When you work in a landscape, dynamism is a nature, is a, is an, is an, a natural element of it, you know, that you have to work with uh, changing in uses, changing in the development of plants, string, things growing, the weather changing, the atmosphere of the space, you know, this incons... incons in, um, uh, that the space is not a constant, but something that is changing, something natural uh, to me. And, and, on, and, the, and the opposite is for architecture, that, um, that, uh, that can be pretty stiff. So I'm kind of interested in what happens when you, if you join these two things, what happens. Uh, I, I also love when, when landscape becomes a bit more stiff sometimes, and I love it when architecture becomes a bit more dynamic. But the general role is, I don't like to fix it because also it depends from project to project, you know, sometimes it's more, uh, it's more a social role, sometimes it's really a, a, a formalistic role, sometimes it is, so I wouldn't say that there is one, uh, one single role to play.